أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أعطيناك الكوثر فصل لربك وانحر إن شانئك هو الأبتر رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقه قولي امين يا رب. I want to discuss the issue of survival. We have come to know that one of the most basic instincts that man has is the instinct of survival. The urge to survive. In fact, the whole Darwinian theory and other variant theories of evolution is very much dependent upon the urge of survival, the urge of reproduction of this, the, the, the preservation of the species, natural selection. But this aspect of uh, human beings about uh, survival, it has another element. And it is the element of the uh, survival in the sense of uh, not dying. So one is, we want survival, so we want to protect ourselves and preserve ourselves. And the other is that we want to be immortals. We human beings want to be immortals. And to become immortals, there are two different methods that human beings have adopted. One method is the method of trying to and the hope that if we understand nature, if we can dissect nature, uh, come to the finest and the most subtle understandings of nature, then we can control it. Just like if you take a cloth, let's say if somebody makes a cloth, I can reverse engineer a cloth and make a cloth. And in the same way, let's take nature and reverse engineer nature and we can you know, and in that we will have ideas like um, we will have ideas like uh, let's try to decode our genes, let's try to understand human nature, let's try to understand the process of aging, let's try to understand how we can reverse aging, so on and so forth. And so there is a certain promise man has given himself with the promises of science, with the promises of um, if we understand nature enough, if we start to understand biology enough, chemistry enough, uh, quantum physics enough, then we can perhaps maybe uh, make man immortal. In fact, why don't we take man and take his mind and instead of letting it be in this body that naturally gets old, naturally gets gray, naturally gets weak and eventually dies, why not just take the human mind and the human, human consciousness and put it in a machine? in where he can live in, his, in a virtual reality and live forever. Uh, so this is one method of uh, going ahead and, uh, you know, and making man, trying to make man immortal, okay? Even though, uh, through science, uh, it's hard for me to uh, understand that even if we took human consciousness out of the human being and put it in a virtual machine where we can then follow any instinctive desires that we have, that if that is the case, uh, what would we be doing in, because we still have the different asteroids and different solar disasters that could happen like black holes and so on and so forth that doesn't solve the problem necessarily. <coughs> the other way to uh, become immortal, how to become immortal is the, or the urge to be immortal that human beings have. The other way to become immortal is by uh, by saving the soul because the body is going to die and you save the soul so if you save the soul and by believing in God by believing that there's a soul by believing because if you believe in the way of technology and science then you're not going to identify a soul that you're going to try to save because it's in the it's a non-empirical um, element and it doesn't have no, it's not something you can touch and feel and you know just let's save the soul of ourselves no but rather, the other way of becoming immortal is by uh, saving our souls and finding God and doing the things that need to be done in this life 
so, and to become responsible of our life on earth uh, for the temporary time period that we have 70, 80, 90 years maybe 100 years um, to, to find a way to become a good human being to save our souls uh, to beg and pray and worship and love God and then maybe that way we will become immortal so these are the two uh, urges that human beings have uh, whether you are of the scientific bent um, you still have that fantasy of you know um, going to the final frontiers um, becoming man made man man made man where man it becomes the center for himself there's no God there's no unseen there's no uh, nothing beyond the empirical world and uh, man is in control of himself and man needs to find a way to become immortal that urge is there and it's a very big industry um, that can be, you can see the elements of it you know through plastic, plastic surgery and you know um, and through what we're doing, doing through the genome project and so on and so forth the other way is to find God to find salvation to become immortal and so the Quran gives us uh, the way to become immortal in fact uh, one of the images of becoming immortal is the fountain of youth and so the Quran talks about the fountain of youth the, the fountain that if you drink from you will never become thirsty again so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says or God says إِنَّا أَعْطَيْنَا كَالْكَوْثَرْ أَوْ مُحَمَّدْ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمْ أَوْ فَقْرَ اللَّهُ the Prophet of God, Muhammad, peace be upon him, we have given you the fountain of youth, the Kota. Kota comes from the word to feed, which means a lot, too much. It's, it's abundant, abundant. We have given you abundance. So pray to your Lord and sacrifice. Uh, indeed, your enemies and those who oppose you, they are the ones who will be cut off from the roots. So, there is the way of, you know, survive, you know, and this surah, uh, I will not go into the background too much, but this is real because people were um, mocking the Prophet so that he didn't have a progeny after him. So this worldly way of looking at immortality, either through children or becoming immortal ourselves through um, finding the right technology and the, and the right science um, and the right discoveries, is one way, but the other way, this urge, and this is what I want to, us to recognize as human beings that we have an urge to become immortals. It's our desire to become immortals. In fact, in the Quran, when the angels came to Adam and the, 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 the jinn, the shaitan came to Adam and Islam, he deviated uh, Adam and Islam, Adam, peace be him, on the basis that if you eat from the tree, you will become immortal. So this urge of human beings to become immortal. And this is an, this is a spiritual element of survival and then there is the biological element of survival we want to preserve our bodies and our species and so on and so forth so I want to end here